All right, I'm back to you with a really quick tip that I bet you didn't know. What if you have your stamps prepared and ready to play in Tractor? By the way, check out this video to know how to get stamps from any track in Tractor. But instead of looking at waveforms for each individual stamp, you want to see the full waveform for the entire master track. It turns out you can, though it's not as obvious as other Tractor features. To do this, we need to go to settings and do a really simple mapping. Let's add a new keyword mapping and make it separate from any other mapping you might have. Click here and track DAC and DAW view. Make sure the DAC is set to focus. In this example, I will map the key on my keyboard that I don't use to switch between stamps and master waveforms. And that's it. Now let's load stamps track into DAC A. Make sure the DAC letter here is orange, meaning it's focused. Press the button on the keyboard that you just mapped and see how the waveform switches to master view. Pressing it again will return things to as they were. As an example, let's also load another stamps track into DAC B. If you now press the button, you will see that the waveform view is still changed on the DAC A. To make it change on DAC B, Click the B letter here to make it orange and then focus. Press the button on the keyboard and now everything works as expected. Just as a disclaimer, switching the view doesn't affect the way the track is played or any other stamp controls, meaning that you can still change the volume, filters, FX sense of each stamp, as well as see the volume meters on your F1 controller, for example. That's pretty much it. As promised, Really quick tip that I bet you didn't know. Now let me know down in the comments if you knew about this hidden tractor pro stamps feature. And for now, peace out.